when you see like 300 guys on a line, everybody's running their stuff hard, what equipment are you seeing fail throughout a match? Like, I'm sure there's some common points that... Yeah, if you're in the <laughs> Ari- Ari- Arizona moon dust. Yeah, or New <laughs> Mexico, even yeah. Utah. I mean, here in Utah, we get a lot of dust and yeah. sand. Triggers are going to go down. Triggers are number one for sure. I don't know if I've ever been to a national match and not seen a trigger go down. There's almost every match. there's almost always a trigger that that goes down yeah. and, and so are guys just bringing extra triggers just in anticipation of something going down. Some guys, a lot yeah. of a lot of guys are, um, you know, without naming brands, you know, there's guys that they'll, they'll just have <laughs> they'll have three or four of them and they know that you know they got to keep whether it's their compressed air, or alcohol, uh, or uh, lighter fluid that they squeeze in there to try to clean it up. So triggers is huge, and then um, same thing with the dirt and dust. Uh, magazines can just oh, yeah. magazine can just make or break your your experience. You're trying to you know you're under you're under pressure, you're under time, and you're running that bolt. It's not picking it up, or the rounds are sticking, or double you know whatever the case is. Mag magazine failure is a huge huge deal. Yeah, with those triggers, I mean, uh, you you can't get something as precise of an instrument as a trigger needs to be with you know down to eight nine ten ounces some guys are running super light where the tolerances are super tight and you're out in the dirt and dirt's going to get in there for the most part depending on what type of triggers you run and and man i've seen so many of those fail and um we say oh magazines yeah magazines man um depending on the type of magazine you run if you're having a jam on that i'm you know all the stages that we shoot are timed and you know a lot of guys will carry most guys will carry a spare mag on them so if they have some sort of jam they'll you know just drop them they'll drop the mag and just put a new mag in um and then deal with it later but uh yeah mags what else goes down i've seen uh man just about i mean brass like some guys their size of their brass too much can have case head separations on the line or my match last weekend, I skipped a uh, part of my lo- reloading process because I thought I was so smart to save time and didn't uh, didn't trim my neck. So I was sizing every single piece of uh, every single an- round the whole match last Saturday, and somehow I squeaked out with a black and blue palm <laughs> and uh, third place. But yeah, that was that was a painful match. That's only only me to blame on that one. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, the gear is pretty solid, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, guys I mean, are building some good stuff now. Bolt, bolt guns mechanically are pretty simple machines. Uh, it's really just like the triggers, the things that you know trigger trigger in your your magazine. Scope scopes can have issues. Luckily, we we live in a time where there's like a lot of really good scope manufacturers out there, and you know you can't just definitively say now, well, this company's the the, the best. Now there's there's a lot of there's a lot of best now. There's a lot of you know really good options, so we live in a great time for that. But the only thing is it has moving parts on a bolt gun is really you know, you've got your firing pin, your trigger, and the magazine with the follower, and those are really the only things that go down. I mean, every once in a while you see a bipod or something break, and but for the most part, they're pr- it's just limited to the, that area. 